one. Okay, Chris. Did you say your name out with one of them? Uh, Abby Lance, Broad Green Pictures. Anything? Um, so last night was fun. Um, I'm probably going to ask the same questions I did right. on the carpet, but I do want to talk about um, you're no stranger to horror. Um, you've been in quite a few horror. Do you gravitate towards those kinds of films or characters? Or I mean, n- apparently. <laughs> I guess I do. Um, I don't know. I guess I, uh, it's something about that heightened world or I don't know. I don't know what it is. When you read the script, were you, did you, I remember you said it was funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. Um, did the horror come across at all in in the reading of the script? Did you know it was going to be quite as definitely not, definitely not. Um, I mean, it was it was present, but not to the extent that it is in the film. Or maybe I was just distracted by the hilarity of the dialogue. Uh, but that scene with Jenna, I don't remember that being in the script. You know, um, so yeah. Um, talk about working with with Abby and Jenna. You know the the three that are sort of surrounding Jesse. Um, what's sort of the dynamic of the three of you? Um, it's funny because I feel like we kind of gravitated towards the dynamic that's present in the film mm. to an extent. I mean, Abby was just such a delight and relief to have around because I think we have a very similar sense of humor and because the vibe on set you know that feeling that's in the film can kind of permeate the set a bit and I think it was just nice to have her for like comic relief plus also she just had great stories about the modeling industry um, which were just mind-blowing do you remember any yeah she was telling me one that she went to a casting and someone a photographer told her to strip off and she was standing there in her underpants and everyone was just walking around her like doing a photo shoot or something but like completely ignored her and then someone came back after half an hour which she's just been standing there and said uh lose five kilos and come back <laughs> i was just like um so there were a lot of stories that's like real that. life yeah that really happened. yeah yeah just humiliating s- stuff oh ah. and anything else about just um shooting with nick and and sort of a, a day on set like what's his sort of approach to the day do you guys rock out to music or oh yeah he had (laughs) he'd play these songs and Elle and I were trying to remember them like they seem like these really strange obscure like European disco songs that he'd just play on repeat like every time before you take do a take um but he has a method I like I've never worked with anyone like him before he shoots basically consecutively so the script would just change all the time um and you kind of you never knew what to expect when you'd come to set that day he did a lot of takes um, I don't know, it was pretty wild. It was a pretty wild ride. And the day in the club scene with the acrobatic artist, yeah. did you know that that was, I mean, that looks... No. We walked, we came in, and he'd said that, it, I feel like that was my first or second day of shooting. He'd said there was going to be a performer, but it was, yeah, it was amazing. Hmm. These, like, Japanese acrobats. Yeah, it was wild. Is there anything about the, the fashion world that you feel like you walk away with feeling better about or worse about? Do you have a different perspective on sort of fashion and beauty and beauty obsession culture? Um, I mean, look, I feel like this this film paints a pretty dark picture, a pretty bleak picture of it. So I guess the reality seems, you know, far more appealing to me by comparison. Um, Yeah. Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.